Welcome to the SAP Business One Academy helpful how-tos. In this session, I'm going to show you how you can quickly create an authorization profile for a specific kind of user, and then by using drag and drop, copy that authorization profile to another user. So how do you do it? Very, very easy. I'm assuming you have all the user rights to do this. So if you do, you go into administration, then you go into system initialization, then you go down to authorizations. You go to general authorizations and you'll see you have a whole group of users. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to create your user profile. So in order to do that, we'll go up here into setup and we'll go general and we'll create a user. And let's say, for example, I'm going to create a user and this is going to be my warehouse user. So I'll create a user here and the code will actually make W house. And this will be my warehouse user. Now, important to note, SAP Business One licensing is done on the basis of named users. So you cannot use this user type to log on. This is purely for the purposes of creating an authorization profile, which you can allocate to one of your named users. So we'll go ahead and we'll say, okay. Now, Again, with this user, we also won't allocate them a license, but I've now got them there. I'll go back to my system initialization now. We'll go to our authorizations and we'll go to general authorizations. And now you'll see in the grid, I now have my new user there called warehouse. So what I need to do now is go and specify all of the authorizations for this particular user. So I might want to start with no authorizations or I might want to start with full authorization and take functionality away. But either way, whichever way you do it, it's up to you. So you go through, define the authorization profile that you might want and business partners is actually a bad one to have uh, author, um, no authorization on, but maybe the person in the warehouse is only allowed to have read only access to your business partners. So again, you've got full flexibility over this. When you've done it, you go ahead and you'll choose update. So that's it. I've now got my warehouse user profile. So let's pick another one of our users. Let's say, for example, that Wilson is uh, one of our warehouse users. So this isn't to be confused with Wilson from the Tom Hanks film Castaway, which those of you will remember was just a basketball with a face painted on it. Um, so Wilson's one of our warehouse users. So all I need to do is click and select the warehouse profile, drag and drop it down over the top of Wilson. And it says, do you want to copy the authorizations from warehouse to Wilson? And I'll say, yes, copy. So now I'm in Wilson's profile. He's now got all of those authorizations from the warehouse user. But I've decided that I also don't want Wilson to have access to my MRP functionality. So I'm going to give him no authorization there. So you can start with the profile and then refine it. I'll say update and that's it. You've quickly seen how to create a new authorization profile, how to allocate that authorization profile to an existing user, and then, of course, how to adjust that authorization profile. Remember, if you'd like your own helpful how-to recorded, don't forget, send an email to admin at sapbusinessoneacademy.com or join the forums and leave a message. Thanks.